Ladies and gentlemen, back by popular demand, please welcome comedian Rod Woodward. Thank you so much. Good evening. Great to be here. We're living the dream, the Royal Variety Show. Marriage is an adventure. It is. My wife, she, she surprises me on a daily basis. You wouldn't believe what she came out with the other day. I couldn't believe it. She, uh, she suggested a little bit of romantic role play. I know. I thought, oh, I'm not sure. But in the end, I thought nothing ventured. I said, okay then. And uh, she introduced me to another man. I said, who is that? She said, he'll be playing the part of you. I said, no chance. So in the end, we compromised. She was a school teacher. I was a naughty schoolboy who needed to be punished, which was fantastic, uh, until she got my parents involved. Uh, <laughs> It was our wedding anniversary the other day, and uh, my wife and I, we thought we would go out, make a night of it. It started off weird. Like, I was ready first. I'm stood by the door, waiting to go. My wife comes down. She takes one look at me. She said, uh, you're not seriously <laughs> thinking of wearing that out, are you? <laughs> I said, no. <laughs> These are my making up my mind clothes. <laughs> I just put these on to help me decide what I'm really going to wear. I said, these are my thinking pants. There we go. <laughs> so we end up in uh, our favorite Italian restaurant. And the waiter comes over, he's a new guy, and he's like an Italian stallion flirt machine. Right? Oh, he's made a beeline for my wife, very handsome man, ignored me completely. He starts serenading her at the table, he's like, oh, when the moon in your eye like the big pizza pie. And my wife, she's gone all googly. She's singing along, she's like, that's a moron, you know. Pointed at me, what's all that about? <laughs> he went, what do you fancy apart from me? I had to butt in, I said, excuse me. I'm here as well. Well, he turned to me with disdain, he went, uh, what do you want? <laughs> Everybody looked over, they all went quiet, he went, what do you want? I thought, pick anything off the menu, just order anything. I said, I'll have the Pagioni, please. He went, that's page one, you muppet. <laughs> it turns out he's one of these waiters who likes you to have a go at the pronunciation. He went, speak to me in Italian. I said, well, I would, but there's no need, because I can see what I want. I'll have the lasagna. <laughs> I said, the lasagna alifono. He went, it's forno. I said, hey, he said, it's forno. He went, repeat after me, forno. I went, forno. <laughs> he went, there we are. It's not hard, is he? When you try. And he disappeared in a big flurry of talcum powder. <laughs> I said to my wife, I said, I, I don't like him. I do not like him, which upset her because she did like him. <laughs> and the thing is with my wife, when she's upset, like a lot of ladies, she's got this amazing ability. It's a talent whereby she can turn into a ventriloquist <laughs> just so she can give me a rollicking in a public place. <laughs> she went turn. I didn't know who was talking. I thought. <laughs> I 
I thought it was like the voice of God. I said, can you hear that or is that just me? <laughs> I said, well, I'm just saying, I don't like him, okay? I don't like him. And he's not having a tip. I couldn't wait for him to come back at the end of the night with his little silver tray. He plunked it down in front of me. There we are, my friend. Oh, my friend now, is it? I said, there we are, my friend. He said, the bill. And the credit card machine. He said, when it asks you if you like it to leave a tip, you just press this button for yes. I said, well, I'll be pressing this one for no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Have a great Christmas. Hope to see you again sometime. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, taken from Andrea.